Good afternoon. This is Kaylee from Inspire to Sew, and I was here today to tell you about one of my favorite accessories. It is the binder attachment, and so I'm going to show you how to do it on this small little project here. So I have already cut the bias binding and rolled it all up. I love to store it on my freehand system because I love to bring a freehand system. And you come on close here, I'll show you how easy it is to put this in. I'm just going to put it into here. And I like to use a tailor's all. And this attachment I screwed into those two little screws on the Bernina machine to get that lined up. So out comes here my binding. And I'll give myself a little bit so later I'll be able to finish my project. And I'm using the 95C foot as well. And it works together with the binder attachment because even though it looks like the number one foot, it's actually a little bit smaller here on this side. So then it kind of butts up right next to the project. So, or right next to the attachment. So you can see that they go right next to each other. Okay. Then next I'm going to bring my project in. So I give myself a little bit so I could join them later. And then I will bring this in. This is probably the trickiest part of the whole thing. Is I'm going to get one piece of this fold, so it double folded it over for me. And I'm going to just sneak it in between the two layers. So I've got it in between the first fold and the other fold that's below it. And I kind of got it butted up against the edge there. After I lower my presser foot, you're going to see that I'm going to need to definitely move my needle position over because I want it to be on my binding. So no problem. I will just move my needle position over. That's also another awesome thing that I love about my Bernina machine is I can move the needle position over. So then it's going to be on the binding. And then the next thing is I'm just going to make sure that as I start stitching, I just kind of keep this up at a nice angle. I'm not pulling it, I'm just kind of letting it guide into the attachment. And it is sewing my binding on at the same time on both the front and the back. get to the curve, I'm just making sure it's not curving up too much here. Let's take a look at this. Look at that. So awesome. So we'll just keep going here. Just making sure it's gonna stay in between the two layers. If you need to go nice and slow and maybe pivot, you can do that. The bias binding really helps with this curve here. Helps it, the fabric to curve a little better. And if you get a little off, like you'll see I'm kind of getting a little bit off on here, it's okay to move your needle position. Just means might have a little bit more fabric in that seam. That's okay. This is definitely something when you go home and sit down, you're going to want to sit down and do the whole thing at one time. This isn't like a come back to the binding later. You want to sit down and smack the whole thing. The sample that I'm making here, I actually use Bernina uh, version 8 software to create a different design or a design here, original design, and I used different types of finishing edges using the software just to demonstrate that there's lots of cool edge finishes and things you can edit just from the machine or from a previous made design. The binder attachment comes in three different sizes right now. I'm using the medium size. 
a perfect size binding for small projects like this. Okay, so I'm getting kind of close to the end. What should I do? First, just so that you know, this attachment can actually pull out here. So you'll want to be careful not to cut maybe too much or, or to pull it out too much because you can also get this back in. So if you're doing curves, you could kind of pull out the seam and miter and then stick this attachment back in here. But I'm just going to pull it out a little bit so that I could tuck this binding into there. So I pulled it out of the attachment. I had sewed up to the edge and I pulled out the attachment. And now I'm just going to take the edge here. And I really, really like this glue base stick here. I like it better than a fabric glue stick because this is going to almost instantly hold for me in place. Where like a fabric glue stick, it's going to take a while for me to do that. Just hold it in place. Now it's actually stuck, which is awesome. Then I'll trim this. Then all that I have left to do is I'm just going to kind of pre-crease where it's going. That will help me pre-crease this because I'm not in the binder attachment anymore. I'm just finishing it off. And I'm really all that I'm doing is overlapping this seam. Hold it in place for a moment. Trim that little thread there. And then I'm just going to be careful to sew all my layers together. Drop the needle down, make sure it's going to work. I'm going to go nice and slow just around this last little corner. Kaylee, that looks awesome. So pretty.